Good morning. It's time for the Serenity Prayer Devotional today, and I hope you're all doing great. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, and the courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. And we're going to be in Proverbs uh, chapter 3, verses 13 through uh, 26. None of us set out to become addicted to anything, you know, or our life to go wrong this way or that way. None of us set out to do, to mess up our lives, right? None of us set out to do that. Uh, and sometimes, you know, we do something we shouldn't do because we're seeking something else. We're trying to escape from our pain. We're trying to perhaps, uh, or make something to make up for our losses and brokenness. So we may do something that we shouldn't really be doing. Um, you know, just to escape from the pain, you know, or or from something that, you know, so we make bad decisions. Or maybe we had a subconscious desire for just for self-destruction, because sometimes, sometimes think, well, what the hell, you know, I just, you know, everything's going bad already, so might as well just keep on going bad, you know. Been there, done that, you know, so I understand. So, unfortunately, the things we turn to could not satisfy our deepest needs or desires. So sometimes we turn to things uh, and they still don't satisfy. You know, who knows what that is? You know, idols of whatever, you know, trying different religions, different uh, new age spirituality, uh, you know, there's all kinds of things out there, you know, uh, which they don't really satisfy our desires or our deepest needs. Our needs are legitimate. What must be changed is the tendency to go the wrong way to try to meet those needs. That's what must be changed. The, te the tendency to want to go back and do something bad that you've done before that you know didn't work but you, you had that tendency to want to do it because you don't know anything else the Bible says my child don't lose sight of good planning and insight hang on to them for they fill you with life and bring you honor, honor and respect they keep you safe on your way and keep your feet from stumbling and this is in Proverbs chapter 3, verses 21 to 23. Godly wisdom leads to great benefits in life. As we seek wisdom, we will find the other things we desire. Happy is the person who finds wisdom and gains understanding. For the profit of wisdom is better than silver, and her, and her wages are better than gold. Wisdom is more precious than rubies. Nothing you desire can compare with her. Nothing can compare with wisdom. She offers you life in her right hand and riches and honor in her left. She will guide you down the delightful paths. All her ways are satisfying. This is in Proverbs chapter 3 verses 13 uh, through 17. I may sound a little nasally because I'm... I have bronchitis right now, so bear with me. <laughs> As we change our focus and begin to seek after wisdom, we will find our life more fulfilled and secure. Godly wisdom will also help us avoid the destructive paths we have previously taken as we try to fulfill our unmet needs and desires. So remember, as happy as a person who finds wisdom, and gains understanding. That person is going to be happy. So my prayer for you today is for you to grant you the wisdom to know the difference of what you can change and what you cannot change. Because once you understand the difference of what you can't change and you're, you know, constantly worrying and concerned and stressed out over things you have no control of, You'll be better when you just let it go and let God take care of it. So, my prayer today is for God grant you the serenity, God grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change 
and the courage to change the things we can and the wisdom to know the difference. Amen. God bless you today.